90% of what you learn is lost within a week. I've read over 50 books in the last three years, and this is how I remember 100% of what I want to remember. Before that, let's see some science behind it. Hermann Ebbinghaus, a German psychologist who pioneered the studies of memory and learning, developed a thesis that looks like this. The first line shows how quick we forget the information, the second one shows how quick we forget it after one review, two reviews, then three reviews. So basically what he says is that 90% of what we learn is lost within a week. Why? Well, there are several reasons for that. Let's quickly review them. Number one, relevance. We are more likely to forget things if we are reading or listening to a book that does not interest us and does not engage us. Number two, time. That's the reviews lines in the graph. If we don't work on retaining the information that we got, we will lose 50% of it in the first 24 hours and 90% of it in the first week. Okay, so now that you are aware of why you lose the information, let's see how we can overcome that. First, in order to start reading, we need to figure out what type of book we want to read, what interests us, what intrigues us, what will benefit us the most at this stage of life. And there are plenty of types to choose from. The point is, don't just pick a book because someone told you to read it or because some paper said it's the bestseller and that people loved it. For example, Jeff Bezos reads only management and business books, and Warren Buffett reads investment books, biographies, and newspaper to stay up to date with the current events. Okay, so let's say you're into self-development and time management. Cool. Do you have anything in your backlog? Any suggestion? No? Well, lucky for you, I've got just a book for you. Wow! And this is quite a hefty one. Reading it word for word took me some time. Plus the font is so small. Why? But don't be like me. Don't try to be a hero and read every word in the book. You just waste your time and as we said, you will probably not remember 90% of it. So you can count the book as finished if you finished all the parts that you're interested in and you got all the knowledge that you want to get. You've got my permission. But again, don't read a book just because a YouTuber said or some friend recommended it to you. Before you actually start reading, go on YouTube and look for videos about this book. Maybe the author has a TED talk about it and you can get the main idea of the book so that when you start to read it, it feels more comfortable and more natural and maybe you will get the gist of the book so that you don't even have to read it and by that you get the knowledge of the book without spending hours on reading it. Let's go with our example and see what we can find. Okay so first when we search YouTube we can find these two that can be interesting then if we scroll down a little bit we can find the TED talk. TED talk can really summarize the things for us. Let's see what else we can find. Oh great he was born the same day I was. Wow. This book is going to be awesome. And remember, you read to get the knowledge. You don't read just to add another book to your list and say, yeah, I read it. So now that we have a valid reason to start reading the book and we're hyped about it, hold on. I want you to take the book and think of it as a food buffet. You go around, look for the things you like, things that you want to eat, and then you go to sit down and eat. In the book, go over the table of contents, look for things that resonate with you, things that sound interesting, and mark them. Stop being a nerd. It's a paper. You bought it. You can mark it. No one will take the book from you and say, oh, that one is so civilized. See, you already gained value from this video. You overcame your markophobia. <laughs> well, turns out it's actually a thing. <sighs> Scary. Okay, so now that we've marked the sections that we want to read, we can finally start reading. But Aurel, you said that I will forget more than 90% of the things I read in one month. So what difference does it make if I read 5 chapters or 50? Well, you are right. There's a solution for you. You might not like it at first, but this takes book reading and sets it on steroids. So when you read a book, you'll probably find many things that you like, and you'll probably say to yourself, I'll remember this one forever. Wrong. It's like listening in class and thinking, I don't need to write it down. I'll remember it. I understand it. We've been there and we know the truth. Same thing with books, easy. I'll just mark the sections and I'll get back to them later in life when I'll need them. Don't get me started on that one. We both know it's never going to happen. You need something strong, something better, something easier, so that you don't have to open the book and look for the marks that you made. But we will use this. So whenever you read a book, be it physical, Kindle, or audio, mark or clip the paragraphs that you liked, so that later on you can review them, note those that still resonate with you, tag them, and drop the rest. I know, it can be tedious and annoying and it will take time, but what's more annoying is forgetting what took you hours to read. That way, you keep all the knowledge from the books organized and safe in one place and you no longer need to be scared you lose 90% of it. That way you can also be lazy and skip parts and then mark them or clip them for later review instead of rereading or re-listening. Now you can choose to go old school and make room in your house for hundreds of notes that you'll need to write down, sort and store manually. Or you can use technology for it. Let's take for example Evernote. Disclaimer, this is not a paid promotion. Nobody thought so. Oh. 
I've been noting the last 41 books that I read in Evernote and I wrote over 500 notes that I will never lose again. The way I organize them is using Evernote's tag feature. Each note that I add, I tag it with books, the name of the book and topics related to that book. That way, if I need to get information about a specific book or a specific topic, I just filter with the tags and get the relevant information in less than one second. It's also a source of inspiration for me to come up with great video ideas. Pro tip, after you've done all the work, share the ideas that you like most with others. That way you will remember them better and and you will hear different opinions about them. Congratulations, you are ready to go out to the world and read books and retain 100% of the knowledge that you get. Don't forget to leave your book suggestions down in the comments below. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.